Seaside's on air on location at Austin City Limits 2016 with Catfish and the Bottleman, the entire band this time around. Gentlemen, how's it going? Hello. Hello. This isn't your first rodeo here in Austin. You played here before many times. Yeah, we've done it a few times. We did this before. We did this two years ago. Yeah, we did ACL before, Emos. Better South by. Shubers with J. Roddy Walton and the business. Stubbs. 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 Sorry, Shubers with Chicago. Stubbs with J. Roddy Walton and the business. Right. Did you know that band? Yeah. They're a great band. Yeah, nice uh, and loud. Yeah, yeah they are. Spoon headline, they're outside. Yeah, they, like, I think last time we were at ACL, we got to go and uh, we were doing a Spotify live session and we got to go and do some yeah. recording with Jim Eno from Spoon. Oh, nice. Do, like, a live yeah, session there for Spotify. And it was, yeah, that was great. Being that the case, you have had a lot of experience milling around. Did you do the Six Street thing? Did you do all the Austin type things, barbecue, all that business? Oh, I was witnessing the dueling pianos at the early hours of this morning. That, them guys are great. Yeah. yeah I, I feel we've, uh, we've, we've covered it pretty well. It's a nice time. Man. You and our camera guy will get along quite well. He loves the dueling pianos yeah, in Austin. fantastic, man. So a lot of people have done all the usual things. What about the Austin secrets? Have you gone to Hippie Hollow, the nude beach? I didn't even know there was beaches here, <laughs> to be honest. I'm usually the explorer, but I've, I've not delved that far. So. Really? Sure, That's next there. week, isn't it? Give the people what they want, Bob. <laughs> why, why me? <laughs> Is that something that you would not have any problem with? <laughs> wow. I think you're I, I, I'm telling you now, I'm not, I'm not going to New Beach. No? Just, you know, All right. I'll, I'll go. Anywhere else, if you'll you want me go, to. but you won't partake in. All right, well, I'll do that. Then, yeah. Chiseled to the proportions of Michelangelo's David. <laughs> <laughs> Van, what about yourself? Uh, what, same question? Yeah. What the, if, oh, I'm not going if Bob's not going. I'll go if Bob goes. Oh, well, if we all go. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll go if we all go. Everyone hanging down. <laughs> a new, that's a new question, isn't it? <laughs> what, what if B sides were to book a gig at this new beach? Oh, then we'd have to go. We have, we have to play under it. You know, all right. Seems like the guitar slightly lower. Yeah. A mankini's <laughs> acceptable on this beach. <laughs> You can do the chili peppers thing with the sock. Yeah. yeah. So I'll be sat down. I'm fine. Train a sock. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I need little socks. <laughs> you guys are getting a lot of attention right now with the latest album, The Ride. Thank you. It's a lot of things that people I think can relate to in terms of the musician side of things, where you're just milling around uh, various cities, and then you have to balance the fact with the relationship and and so forth. Uh, from what I understand, it didn't take you long to write. Uh, it all came really quick in terms of writing it and then all of us learning it together and then the producer Dave Sardi coming over and saying he wants to work on it, that took a few days and then we recorded it, you know, in a, in a month, sporadically over the kind of jumping back and forth between festivals and our own shows and just got it done really quick so I just think we, we really wanted to carry on touring, we were, we, where it was back home with the first album, it got us to such a good place already, we kind of like, you can't rest on that, you've got to kind of go again and keep going so we just wanted to build the live thing as quick as we could so the, the album came around quickly because of the us, our want to tour so much you know mm -hmm. so yeah it was it was a fun, very fun experience all of it. it still is it's only been out four months so it's still yeah fresh to us. and that's quite a turnaround time because you know as we talked off camera you and I were just talking about yeah. the first album not too long ago remember, and then you turned it around and next thing you know I'm like wait a second yeah aren't they on tour for this album and the no. ride just comes out. Wow, that was a great interview. I loved that one. When oh. we about the well, thank you. That was a, you're a great uh, interviewee. Thank you. <laughs> what about the pressures of trying to churn out memorable songs, memorable lyrics? Uh, Van, every, I see a million tumblers dedicated to you. Oh, really? Yeah. Everyone and, 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 made by every, me. Right? Fans <laughs> made quite a lot of them. <laughs> and, and, and made more for me then. <laughs> a lot got? of girls are quoting the, the, the line from Business where it's like, I want to tolerate drunk you, honey. Oh, yeah? Did they like that line? Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for that. Um, we see people, I meet a lot of people after the shows who ask me to sign stuff and the lads to sign stuff and put lyrics down, stuff like that, and then they'll go get them tattooed. So when you see them the next show, yeah. you know, they, they'll, they'll be showing you that in the crowd, like, get on this. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's a mad feeling really to see the words that you, you've you been writing on, you know, people belting them out and arms out. Any, any, any feeling like whether they're reciting it or quoting it or getting it tattooed or singing it live it's just uh, it's crazy that people are on the same wavelength you know because it's just about the same kind of feelings really isn't it? I saw I saw a picture online that was uh, the tagline was like the family that catfishes together stays together <laughs> and it was a full family with different shirts on with different like taglines of lyrics on them and the lyrics are good on t-shirts yeah they'd all make their own t-shirts it's full family where is that they always come to shows oh. 
they always come to our shows and it's a full family of them and they make all their own. Wow. Uh, like catfish shirts and they're proper good. Better than our merch. It's all good. <laughs> <laughs> well, we very much are fans of the music. Uh, continued success and we look forward to the next album next year. Thank you. Next year? Uh, a year ago. <laughs> no pressure. Yeah, yeah. Whenever, whenever you're ready. No, it's we're good to go. It's Coiled there. like a spring. Yeah, we're, we're ready. But we got, I think, from what I can say, the year we go to like UK after this. We got a run in UK, then we got Australia, then Japan, and then I think we got a few more shows. We got South America. South America. Yeah, yeah, South America. That, that'll be our first trip out there. We're very excited. We're doing uh, a lot of blues. We're going to. Uh, Columbia as well and that, so oh, nice. get out there and so have our minds blown. Yeah, because th this one's only been out four months, so and, and we're, we're still already thinking about that. Oh, I'm going to hold you to that quote. I'm going you know, to have that tattooed. I'm going to put a bit on the year. I think for sure. Every two. Right? We can do every two. Right? I think I think every other. Take them round for at least two. Yeah. yeah. Every other, we'll say. Co yeah. Don't quote that. Every other. Tattoo. <laughs> every other. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Well, thanks so much for your time. Great to see you guys. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Bob, Andy, Thank you. Andy. It is Catfish and the Bottleman. You're watching B-Sides on air.